Ministry of External Affairs today announced that all uh, heads of state of the uh, uh, members of the Shanghai Cooperation Organization, which is a multilateral grouping on security and economic issues, uh, which includes Russia and China and Pakistan and India as well, all of them will be invited to this year's SCO summit, which will be held in India. This is what the MEA said earlier. You know, it is now a public knowledge that India will be hosting the SCO Council of Heads of Government uh, meeting later this year. The meeting is held annually at the Prime Minister's level and it discusses the SCO's program of multilateral economic and trade cooperation as per the established practice and procedure within SCO. All eight members of SCO as well as four observer states and other international dialogue partners will be invited to attend the meeting. And joining us is Ambassador Casey Singh this evening, straight from Delhi, Brahma Chalani, strategic affairs expert, also with us. Uh, Ambassador Singh, of course, as Saeed Akbaruddin was just telling us, uh, you know, India is a responsible power. This is a big multilateral summit. We're going to be hosting it. So naturally, we would invite Pakistan. I think the question, though, is that do you think this could be an opportunity for the relationship to take a different turn? Nidhi, let me first clarify that the SCO has two summits. There's a head of state, heads of state summit and there's a heads of government summit. The heads of state summit will be in Russia, uh, which will be hosted by President Putin. Now, normally our prime minister has not been going for the heads of government summit because the two important people who are there in the Shanghai Cooperation Organization are President Putin and President Xi, and they don't attend the heads of government summit. Now, therefore, one approach of Pakistan could be that they do not send, the Prime Minister does not come, and like us, uh, basically a minister is sent, the foreign minister is sent. So we don't know what call they take. Uh, but from Pakistan's point of view, I mean, uh, PR Akbaruddin has given a very good defense uh, of the Indian position. Uh, but essentially, I think what happens is every time Chinese rake it up, the China is repeatedly raking it up, but then when the conclusion there is, and we go and say, we like to settle the issue bilaterally with Pakistan, then the question arises, but you're not talking to each other. Uh, now, it may be that Pakistan, since August 5, has got a new condition, because they want the status of JNK restored, uh, uh, status quo ente, to go back to before uh, August 5. Now, that India will not accept. So, therefore, it's a new ball game. And we don't know exactly what will be the Pakistani reaction, but I doubt very much Imran Khan will come. Doubt very much that Imran Khan will come. Brahma Chalani, do you agree with that? And interesting what uh, KC Singh was mentioning there about uh, the, the new dynamics in which any in India-Pakistan dialogue, if any, uh, would take place post-370. It will be for Imran Khan to accept India's invitation or send somebody else. Considering the fact that he has hurled allegations. In fact, he has hurled abuses at India at, and also at Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi in recent months. He might not come. By descending into the Qatar, Imran Khan has burnt his bridges with New Delhi. Today, Pakistan finds itself in a very peculiar situation of its own making. It cannot afford a war with India because it finds itself in desperate financial straits. But neither can Pakistan have any meaningful talks with India, especially as long as Imran Khan stays in office. If in the coming months or years the Pakistan military wants talks with India due to pressing domestic compulsions, it will have to get rid of Imran Khan and install a new puppet as the prime minister. Because Imran Khan's position vis-a-vis -vis India has become untenable. Think of what he has said in recent months. He has, he has declared, publicly declared jihad on India. He has threatened to nuke India. He has compared Modi with Adolf Hitler. And in recent months, Pakistan has cut off transportation links with India, downgraded diplomatic relations with India, suspended bilateral trade with India. Now, in these circumstances, how can any meaningful talks take place? As Ambassador Akhtubuddin was underscoring Pakistan has to behave like a normal state. But we have seen in recent months that Pakistan and its prime minister have gone against 
the basic principles of decency and interstate relations. Right. Well, well uh, Ambassador Singh, just on that point that Brahmachalani raised about how personal the attacks have been by Imran Khan against the Prime Minister himself here. Uh, do you think that that ship has sailed, uh, that, that there is, you know, the bridges have been burnt completely, as Mr. Chilani says, and that India will only engage with a different Pakistani leader here on, if it does at all? Sorry, Nidhi, there's somebody, uh, some new wedding party downstairs making a racket. Uh, are you asking me the question? Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I don't think, I, I think we have a pre-August 5 and a post-August 5 situation. So it is no longer where we were in the dialogue process, comprehensive or whatever we called it. After August 5, once we have taken the steps we have taken vis-a-vis -vis Kashmir, uh, Pakistan now has an absolutely different approach because they said, you know, first you have to go back where you were in August 5. So where is the scope for a dialogue from Pakistan's point of view? Now, as far as personal attacks are concerned, even if he comes, he is not coming to discuss with India. He is essentially coming to attend a summit which I doubt he will come for because he will be under domestic pressure in Pakistan to say, what are you going for? And in any case, this being a heads of government summit, he can very well give it a miss and send, send a minister. All right. Well, uh, thank you, gentlemen, for joining us tonight to give us some perspective on, on what uh, this could possibly mean for India-Pakistan ties. Perhaps not much at the end of the day. Thanks very much.